Happy birthday, cancer women. Welcome back to Will's Cartomancy Tarot. What I like to do is just to give you a little something different this time. I'm going to give you a fertility reading, okay? Because, you know, perhaps some of you have been trying to have a baby or adopt one or perhaps to have another child, you know, without success lately, okay? And so what I wanted to do is to just to go on and use my Lenorma cards just to see, you know, what your chances might be in terms of um, having um, another child or even having your first child or even perhaps adopting one, okay? And to save down on some time, Cancer, as always, I've already shuffled my deck. And I have illustrated the cards as we see here, okay? Let's go on and just get started just to, you know, just to give you a, a, a brief... Um, reading of what these cards mean, okay? Um, card 17 certainly means delivery, okay? And card 31, it means success. Card 13 means a child, okay? Card 5 means health. And card 19 means vision. So when I blend those meanings together, uh, by the way, this is the card, the man card that fell to the bottom. You know, your reading is suggesting that, you know, your hope for a successful and healthy pregnancy and or an adoption is going to be granted, you know. And it also shows that because the stork card is kind of in the past or basis of the matter, some of you may already be pregnant or you perhaps discovered that you were pregnant, perhaps, um, perhaps during the March time frame, I'm kind of feeling, okay. So let's get right in and just make, you know, a few general assessments here. Just look at your looking at your predominance of colors here. You have three red cards. Um, these are vibrant cards here, and you only have these two dark cards. So it shows that, you know, your pregnancy is going to be successful. It, uh, it's going to go smoothly. Okay. Um, also, uh, with this card falling to the bottom, you know, it's it's appearing as a water sign as the man. Um, it could possibly be a water type temperament that you're concerned about, or you know, a Cancer or Pisces or and or Scorpio that you might be concerned about, okay? And again, you have uh, a predominance here. You have hearts and you have spades. So it shows that, you know, emotional issues and, you know, perhaps some setbacks and problems that you've had um, or some unhappiness and regrets perhaps that, you know, you've experienced um, as it relates to a relationship, Okay. Now, I'm going to go on and just give you also a brief description of, of kind of what I'm seeing here. And then we're going to go on and get into a few advanced um, type techniques. And then I'm going to go on and get into your reading as always. OK, now the start shows that, you know, many of you are tall or you're perhaps you have long limbs or um, your your nose is kind of long um, and it shows that, you know, many of you are very flexible and some of you perhaps have blonde or dark blonde hair with kind of light eyes, I'm kind of feeling. And it kind of shows, too, that you are very um, charismatic and you have subductive, you know, attributes. And with 30, card 31, it shows that there might be like a fire sign temperament or a water sign type person, as, as indicated from the onset. And, of course, the fire signs are Leo, you know, uh, Aries and um Sagittarius. Um, and it kind of shows too that you kind of appear to be a very uh, spiritual type person when you connect this card here, card five to three. And perhaps, you know, this card is kind of saying too that in five months or perhaps in the spring, some of you will in fact, you know, have your child or give birth to a child. And, I, and as I suggested, some of you may already, you know, already be pregnant. I'm kind of feeling. Okay, let's move right along and look at a few combinations here. Okay, let's combine card 17 with 31. Okay, that shows, as I suggested, you know, you, you're you going to reap success and victory and achievements over something that you really want, want to kind of come into fruition. And it is, in fact, this pregnancy or perhaps an adoption. Okay, um, we have 17. Let's combine that with 13. And that shows a birth or a pregnancy. Okay, we have 17 and 5, and some of you, it seems, have recovered um, from illness, you know, and you're being empowered, and you're getting much better, okay? We have the 17 and 19, and that shows that you're moving up to a more 
um, in terms of your health, your health is going to improve. Okay, we have card 31, and let's combine that with card 17. And again, that shows significant progress, you know, fast success, you know, things kind of coming to you quickly. And we have card 31, let's combine that with 13. I see a boy uh, or energetic type kid that you may have or that you may already have, or, or it might be um, the sex of the child you're going to give birth to. Okay, I have C card 31 and we can combine that with five and that shows healthy, you know, that you're going to be very healthy throughout this pregnancy and it shows vitality and that you're going to be very energetic. Okay, let's also combine card 13 along with card 17 and that once again, it shows a growth, it shows a pregnancy. So I'm 100% certain that a lot of you are already pregnant or you can assume be pregnant before, prior to this year ending. Okay, I have 13 here. Let's combine it along with 31. Okay, and that shows, again, a, a successful child that you're going to be bringing into this world. Okay, and we have 13, combining that with 5. And remember, these are more future-oriented cards. So 13 and 5 shows a pregnancy, a birth, or fertility. Okay, and we have card 13. Let's combine that with 19. That shows... Uh, high school or either a board of education, maybe some of you might be working um, there or have that type of uh, employment in some sense. Okay, let's combine card five along with 17. And again, that, that shows a birth or recovery or healing. Okay, and we have five and we combine that with 31. And that shows a strong life forth as you're very energetic. And once again, you have pregnancy seeping throughout your readings because even with card 5 and 13, that also suggests pregnancy. And 5 and card 19, the tower here, that shows a hospital, it shows a clinic, it shows a health care facility. So it shows you actually, you know, being there, actually having the baby. Okay, let's also look at a few other combinations we have. Um, let's combine card 19 along with 17, and that shows corporate growth even. You know, for some of you guys, it shows that you're going to get a promotion at your job, and you're going to be promoted to the top. And I see you going into some type of leadership type position, perhaps. Some of you may even rise to president, okay, um, with 9 and um, 31, okay? We also have 19. Um, I'm sorry, 19 and 31. We also have 19 and 13, okay? 19 and 13. That shows child services or an adoption type agency where some of you also may be successful in adopting a child, okay? It even shows a college, okay? Again, we have 19 and let's combine that with five. And once again, that shows a hospital or a convalescence home or maybe a spiritual center, Okay, so let's go right along and try to, you know, get into your reading and see um, what else I can gleam out of this for you. Again, let's get back to the bottom card, and that shows the man card. So that shows that you seem to have or you're going to receive good news about your pregnancy or you soon will, or you're focusing on perhaps, you know, a water type male. And the Storks here, card 17, combined with the Sun, um, which is 31, it shows success, you know, in this area. Um, as it relates to your pregnancy, it shows victory. You know, perhaps of you, some of you, like I had suggested, have already found out that you're pregnant, you know. And the tree card here shows that, you know, some of you may have been worried about your health because, again, with the Stork card, this can be a repeated occurrence. This may not be your sat your first birth or your first child for some of you, and you may have had health difficulties, or some of you may have had health problems um, in the past, or obstacles that kind of came in your way or cropped up that prevented you from having a successful pregnancy. This tree card guarantees you that your health is going to uh, improve significantly, and being that it's towards the future, it looks very promising for you, okay? And the tower card right next to that uh, uh, ladies, it shows a hospital, it shows a clinic, or once again, a health care facility. So therefore, my deduction is that you're going to have a boy, I feel, perhaps. It could be a water. Uh, you could have it during the water um, period or an air period. And of course, that's 
you know, the Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer. And like I said, some of you may have already discovered that you were pregnant, um, perhaps in May. I mean, I'm sorry, perhaps in March. Okay. Once again, you know, for those of you who have been concerned about your health, you know, th this card shows it for both very well, very good for you guys because 17 and 5 combines it shows health improvements okay and you know just to look at some more of your combinations i feel that while some difficulties uh have been present because you have the spades and the hearts it assures you by just looking at your combinations there that everything is going to really be okay for you guys but i've noticed that you don't have any clubs in this reading so maybe you might not be as ambitions about this matter, or perhaps, you know, it may suggest that pregnancy adoption uh, will go smoothly without much difficulty, but I feel that you might not have um, that much ambitions towards a relationship that you have been in, but you seem to be kind of happy, you know, that you're going to move forward with a successful pregnancy. But one of the things that I'm also getting to is that, you know, that you know, for some of you, the start does, in fact, shows that you guys are, are you know, you're, you're very fertile and you're going through an ovulatory period and might have already, like I said, become pregnant, which has made you very happy. Again, when you look at that card 31 and again, card five, that in fact shows the doctor might um, he might change your dietary regime, perhaps. Um, due to past issues or complications that you may have had. And card 19 once again shows that you are indeed pregnant because this card represents a hospital. So, um, Cancer Women, this is what I have for you guys. Uh, and as for any reading, uh, uh, this may not have resonated for everyone, for but for those for whom this reading was meant, I certainly hope you've gotten food for thought from this reading. And I look forward to hearing your comments. And I'm going to be posting more interesting readings throughout your astrological period okay um and for those of you who have yet to subscribe to my channel please take a moment to do so now i would certainly appreciate it um thanks a lot for viewing and enjoy your day